The scale of this place is hard to describe. I don't know if I can capture it on camera. Yeah, you got a really long tongue. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna pull you in. He's gonna pull you in. This video is going to be a little different from what we usually do. Wendy and I have not taken any vacations since we started homesteading. Day trips are possible if you can get back in time to do chores, but we really haven't done much of that in the last few years. As a break from packing and sorting things to keep, throw away, and give to goodwill, Wendy and I decided to take one last trip to the Oregon coast. I had never been to the Tillamook Air Museum. That's where they housed the blimps during World War II. Seeing where my grandfather served was something I also wanted to do. Wendy and I are at the Tillamook Air Museum and they happen to have just a whole row of really old tractors. It's pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at them. The scale of this place is hard to describe. I don't know if I can capture it on camera. It's just, just an enormous, amazing place. to expect though. I mean this is this is pretty amazing.
I really wish I could have visited this place when my grandfather was alive. It would have been great to hear the stories straight from him. Right next to the Tillamook Cheese Factory is the Blue Heron, and they've got kind of a cool little petting area here. Now you want a donkey? That is a friendly sheep. <laughs> oh, the goat wants in on the action. You want this, Cody Goat? Yeah. Those are donkeys. <laughs> Those are the donkeys, yeah. <laughs> He's the same goats. I'm usually yelling that. <laughs> we gotta go say hello to the donkeys again. <laughs> What was that? Yeah, you keep that tongue tail, don't you? <laughs> that is a very ridiculous look for you, buddy. What are you doing? I was trying to sense that you can put your tongues, but there's nothing there. Yeah, you got a really long tongue. <laughs> Sorry, we gotta go look at the cheese. Yes. <laughs> gotta go see the cheese next. We're at the Tillamook Cheese Factory. You gotta come here for the ice cream. And they have free cheese samples in there. We're gonna try and find those next. <clears throat> it's a Monday. There are a lot of people here. But it is the summer, so that's probably why. This place has gotten a lot bigger since the last time I was here. It's much more of a tourist draw. We've got a lot more food. The number of samples of cheese is a lot lower than it was the last time I was here. But the cheese is still good. Before COVID-19, they had something more like the bulk foods aisle of a really big grocery store lined up with barrels of cheese samples to choose from. Probably a good shirt. Probably a little more expensive than if you could get, get it at Goodwill. Well, that's why I just said you should get it at Goodwill. the cheese factory is worth it. We didn't actually do the tour to see the cheese being made. No. You <laughs> know, the ice cream was good. The cheese was good. Too many people? There's just too, yeah. It's probably nice if you're with a bunch of people and it's, it's just kind of loud and busy for me. I don't like that kind of thing. But other people enjoy it quite a bit and pull it all the time. So, who am I to say? Yeah. Eros. We're gonna go eat at Moe's. You have to stay in the car. Okay? Yes. We left you some water. You'll be just fine. So we're eating at a classic for the Oregon coast, Moe's, and their signature dish is the cannonball bowl. World famous clam chowder served in a sourdough bowl that you can eat afterwards. You gotta try it. I'm embarrassing you. 
We'll go out to that dock. We'll go out to that dock afterwards. Should have kept some of the French fries for their seagulls. This is the first time we've taken arrows to the beach. He was a rescue dog, so we don't really know if he's ever been at the beach before. I think he'd actually, do you think he'd actually go for a swim? Yeah. Yeah. He likes water. Go, go, go. Go, go. He's gonna, he's gonna pull you in. He's gonna pull you in. There, he's got me all wet. Arrow. You're not a boy. There he is. Eros is not the most well behaved. Got some water on the lens. <laughs> Eros is not the most well behaved dog, so we can't really trust him around strangers. That's why we've got the leash. We can't just let him jump and swim the way he'd really like to. Somebody made a kind of teepee out of driftwood. I'll go in there with you. Come on, Eros. Yes, you're a good dog. Oh, it's not so scary when I'm in here, is it? Thanks for watching our little trip. A nice trip to take before we have to move. I'm feeling very pampered. Little red riding hood there. <laughs> yeah, let's go for him up. Okay, that's better. I saw snuggers now. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Not not complaining. <laughs>